Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well, is happy and healthy, and is getting out there and getting some exercise. So today is going to be a short video. I quickly wanted to cover one more non-invasive continuous glucose monitoring company, or at least a company that's working on a non-invasive continuous glucose monitoring solution. We didn't cover it in the initial video from back of uh, in October, November. Those of you who didn't see that one, I will attach a link to it. You may be interested in taking a look. But in either event, those of you who saw that video will remember that we talked about four different companies that were using radio frequency technology. And the company that we're going to be talking about today, Afrin, is now a fifth that is trying to use uh, radio frequency technology to detect uh, blood glucose in a non-invasive and continuous manner, hopefully. Their product is called Glucor. In contrast to all the other companies that are trying to capture the information from the top of the wrist, Afrin has a, or is building a device that is going to be capturing it from the bottom of the wrist and is going to be using a special watch band that you can attach to a regular watch or a smart watch to hold their sensor. The product specs are sort of what you would expect them to be, just like everybody else's pretty much. There is an app. It's continuous. It's real-time, iOS and Android, etc. Hopefully, they'll be able to produce and uh, deliver it, right? They have been conducting clinical trials at the NHS Joint Clinical Research Center in Swansea, and they have also been conducting some trials at a diabetes CRO in Holland, apparently called Profil. The results of these trials have not been made public, so we don't really know what they tell. Hopefully, we'll find out at some point in time. They also have a clinical trial listed on clinicaltrials.gov. It's one of the trials that they've been conducting at JCRF in Swansea, but no update on it. They recently received the European Intervention Council grant of 2.4 million euros. I think it happened earlier this year. They also have some private capital from a firm called Norcliffe Capital in the UK, which invests in life science companies. They suggested in a recent tweet that they could be releasing a product potentially in 2024, which would be very exciting. But obviously, since they haven't released any results from any of their trials or anything like that, it's impossible to validate their claim at this point in time. They are, however, going to be exhibiting, apparently, at the American Diabetes Association's meeting in San Diego in June, later this year, 2023. So if any of you go there and have a chance to see them, by all means, please do let us know. I have added them to the list of companies that I follow and track and will uh, give you updates on periodically or when something interesting happens. So rest assured that they're now part of the companies that I track and you will get some additional information on them, hopefully, as they progress. So with that, there you have it. Hopefully you're all well and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Take good care. Bye-bye.